The former leader of the Oklahoma Senate was sentenced Tuesday on a federal bribery conviction. Former Senate President Pro Tem Mike Morgan of Stillwater was sentenced to five years of probation on a bribery conviction. He had faced up to 10 years in prison. A 12-member jury in March found Morgan guilty of bribery but acquitted him of related extortion and mail fraud counts and could not reach a verdict on other counts. The bribery charge said Morgan accepted $12,000 from an assisted living center and attempted to influence a bill to ease regulations on the nursing home industry. Morgan insisted the money was legal fees for work he did for the company. Prosecutors alleged he did no legal work. U.S. District Judge Robert Cothran decided Morgan's punishment at a sentencing hearing Tuesday, January 8th in Oklahoma City Federal Court. You know, obviously I'm very relieved at the judge granting the probation. Um, you know, the government had suggested an incarceration of, of up to 10 years, and as you can imagine, that's, that's a pretty scary thought. I didn't commit any crime. I am innocent of this crime. And I think someday, somehow, the truth will come out and that will be proven. But I think the most important thing that I want to say today is God bless my family, my friends, my legal team. They've believed in me. They've stuck with me. They, they have sustained me through a nightmare that I wouldn't wish on any living person. The last nine years of my life have been indescribable. So I'm looking forward today to the future for the first time in a long time. Any plans to appeal for you? Uh, we'll make that decision later, but more than likely there will be an appeal because as I said, I did not commit any crime. As a lawyer still though, it's a felony conviction. What does that do for you? Well, I can wash your car. Uh, <laughs> anybody need your shoes shine? <laughs> I guess I'll have to develop some new skills. I really don't know about that. I, I haven't thought about it. I, you know, I'm obviously I got to do something different. Describe uh, to me the moment when the judge uh, announced her decision. What, 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 how did you, what happened there? You know, what, what I thought immediately was the sound that I heard from my family in the gallery and the relief and the tears of joy. That's, that's what I'll remember forever about this day. The judge says she doesn't even know 482 people to even ask to speak on her behalf. <laughs> Do you think the letters of... of I, I think the letters probably spoke volumes. Uh, I, I was so blessed to have so many people just come forward and, and say, I, I want to help. What can I do? And they wrote the most incredible letters. And, and so many of them talked about things that I'd done years ago for them that I didn't even remember. Uh, but it had made a positive impression on me, on them. Plain devil's advocate, the government argued that a probation is only a slap on the wrist. It doesn't set a strong enough example for people who might think that this is all that's going to happen. What do you say about that? Uh, I, I would say that, that Mr. Williams can rest assured that the way business is conducted at the state capitol is changed forever. My colleagues at the state capitol have watched the personal destruction that this has, has, has placed upon me. And I, I guarantee you uh, things are different. Thank you, sir.